Yeah, it was, it was hellish. It was absolutely terrifying because we felt like we were losing our son right in front of our eyes. We, it was sort of like the sad, lost echo of our son. We didn't know what had happened to him. He'd been this completely regular, normal, happy-go-lucky, fun-loving kid who had lots of friends, and suddenly he was at home all the time, um, immobilized with OCD. And he started doing this thing where he'd go like this, sort of tapping one elbow against the couch and then tapping the other elbow. And he had to do them that on an you know, even amount of times. He had to do it twice on this side, twice on that side. And as the days went on, I noticed that this, this need for synchronicity was getting more elaborate. It got to a point where we had, he had to stop going to school um, for almost a month. He barely had an OCD-free moment, everything he was doing was um, uh, OCD. Because of brain science, recent brain science, they, they've discovered that the brain isn't rigid after all, but it's malleable. And with cognitive behavior therapy, you can treat OCD. And especially with kids, that outcome can be very positive. I decided that we would use this um, technique. It's called exposure ERP, exposure response prevention, which is a form of uh, cognitive behavior therapy that's used for, uh, for OCD. Saying grandpa isn't coming back, that would be an example of an exposure exercise where he would have to say grandpa's not coming back. But that actually was too traumatizing for him to say that. So we had to find something that wasn't traumatizing and one of them was walking into a room and he would have to walk backwards. So if he walked, um, like say from this living room into the dining room, um, we would get him to stay in the dining room as long as possible without retracing his steps. So that was a very easy thing to start with because he knows if he really gets too um, anxious, he can just retrace his steps, but he can, he can try not to and just stay in that other room as long as possible. And, and uh, so that actually worked. That was the first thing that we hit upon that worked. He also had to do something where he touched um, a picture every night of his grandpa and he would um, say, I love you, I love you, please come back, please come back, I love you. He would just say that over and over. And so we would try and get him to, he had to say it 38 times, but my husband said, well, why not, why not try getting him to, why not bargain with your OCD monster the way you bargained in Mexico and say something like 38 times, how about 20 times? And, and then, you know, bargain. If you have a child who is unwell, you, you do anything for them and you don't, even, you don't even think about it. You just want to get them better again. And so we both completely stopped working. We put off our lives and did, spent all of our time just doing what we could to get him better. It went away, completely went away after um, we did all this exposure response prevention. And uh, we, another thing we did played, played an equal part in helping him get better is my husband and I were just so desperate and we didn't know what to do. So I sent an, an email of desperation out to all our friends and, and neighbors, everybody we knew in the village of Wakefield and, and beyond that saying we, we need help. We don't know what kind of help. We need people to come by and, and just we need to get our lives back and have normalcy back in our lives. Somehow sending that letter out, that email out, changed everything. People started coming by, the phone started ringing off the hook and the letter had been forwarded to people I didn't even know and people were writing me back who had kids with OCD or people who had OCD themselves and it was just sort of like this onslaught of community support and love coming our way and somehow that really had a lot to do with him getting better because it was very soon after that that he got completely better. It, it worked, whatever, it, all these things combined it was sort of like a perfect storm of events that coalesce to uh, get him better.